KATC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. Hopefully you were able to get outside and enjoy that sunshine we finally saw across Acadiana this afternoon and the slightly comfortable temperatures in the mid 50s. But if you're heading out this evening, make sure you're bundling up as we will be seeing those temperatures fall to near freezing by tomorrow morning with a light frost possible across Acadiana. But as we go into our Sunday, it should warm up again and then even a bigger warm up as we move into Monday. So let's take a look at the satellite and radar picture. We can see clear skies here in Lafayette and much of Louisiana, but over to the east, that's where the snow is falling and has been making its way up around the mid-Atlantic and into the northeast day. And it has been falling pretty heavy as they've seen numerous inches back through those areas. Also have some snow falling back through Ohio and down into Kentucky, making its way coming down from the Great Lakes. But on the backside, you can see the very clear sky and that is what it's allowing that cool air to again make its way down in across the region. As you can see, freeze warnings in effect across much of the panhandle of Florida. So everyone will be seeing the cool temperatures again this evening, and that's thanks to the clear skies. I want to point out this. You see these dark shades? Those are not actually clouds. Those are the snow still on the ground from the heavy snow we had down around St. Mary Parish is being picked up by the satellite and radar. You can see they stay stationary and then begin to melt a little bit as we go throughout the afternoon. But now as we push into the evening, there is still a little bit of that snow patch left across portions of the region. So that is very interesting to see a very long time coming for Louisiana to see snow multiple days on the ground, but it did last that long, especially where they received a couple inches down around Morgan City. But I expect most of that has probably pretty much melted away and just the thing of the past. And with the clear skies, we will see those temperatures really cool off again tonight. 29 is what we officially got down to here in Lafayette. So a very frigid start to our Saturday, 26 in Alexandria and up into Monroe. But thanks to that sunshine, those temperatures did warm nicely today, getting into the mid 50s, 55 officially for the high here in Lafayette. Now we're seeing those temperatures already cool off back into the mid 40s, and these will continue the fall into the upper 30s and then eventually the lower 30s by this evening. Winds offshore still on the brisk side, anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the northwest. Those will begin to die down a little bit with calmer seas expected as we go into our Sunday. So here we go through the rest of tonight and into tomorrow. Clear skies allowing for that light freeze with temperatures getting down to around 32 to start off our Sunday. Sunday afternoon, very similar to today. Plenty of sunshine, hardly a cloud in the sky. Temperatures getting into the mid to upper 70s should be another beautiful day, but still on the cooler side for this time of year. We should be up around 65, 66 for afternoon highs. Moving into Monday, high pressure will be moving over top the region, helping to push the warmer air out to our west over Texas, over top Lafayette and much of Acadiana, and we should see those temperatures push into the 60s by Monday afternoon. So this evening, temperatures falling down into the upper 20s once again for areas in the northern portions of Acadiana, 29 for Ville Platte, 28 in Bunky, and 27 up towards Alexandria. So you get, again need to protect those pipes, plants, and pets as they will probably see another hard freeze this evening. Along the interstate, I think we just briefly get below the freezing mark right around 31, 32 for many locations. So just a light freeze or a frost along the interstate. And then to the south, back through Vermilion Parish and some of the country areas from Abbeville to Kaplan, you could see those temperatures briefly get into the upper 20s. So again, you might need to protect those pipes in those areas as well with lower 30s down from Iberia into St. Mary Parish. The warm spot will be over in Cameron close to the sea as they'll stay in the lower 40s to get started tomorrow morning. With that sun throughout our Sunday, we get, as I mentioned, into the mid 70s. So it should be another beautiful day for any of that Christmas shopping or holiday shopping that you're doing tomorrow afternoon. Moving into Monday, not as cool, but we will once again get into the 30s, so you will have to kind of bundle up again as we head off to school and work to start the new work week. But with that sunshine and a southerly flow starting to make its way back in, we do get into the 60s, so it will feel a little bit more seasonable as we move into the first half of the upcoming week. So temperatures dropping quickly this evening. We'll head to a low of 31 creating that light frost or freeze across the region. So just kind of bring those pets inside as well and maybe check on the elderly, make sure they're staying warm during these cold temperatures. For our Sunday, just looking pretty much more of the same. Plenty of sunshine, maybe a tad warmer, getting up to around 58 with those winds out of the northwest at four to eight miles per hour. The warm up on Monday, but it's going to be short lived. Cold front comes through Monday night into Tuesday, dropping us back into the 50s. Overnight lows getting down into the 30s again Wednesday morning, but the 60s return as we go into our Thursday. 
Friday, still that way with a few more clouds around and then moving into the following weekend. That's when we start to see the slight chance for a few rain showers returning, but you just see those temperatures on the warmer side. So that precipitation will be rain, not snow like we saw this past Friday. Yeah, I, crazy. It was <laughs> white everywhere back know, home where I'm from. Snowmen everywhere. Yes. It was beautiful sight Yeah, to just see. two hours away. It was, you would swear it was one mm -hmm. of those northern states. And we got to show we got our first <laughs> snowfall better than some of the northern states as Cincinnati finally got its first snowfall back in my hometown today. So we beat them by wow, a day. Wow, yeah. I can't even believe that. Thanks, Eric. Still to come on to Katie and his news channel at 6. Rallies turn.